hello everyone i am wana and welcome back on our channel it's been a pretty long time isn't it our series got pretty far talking about the music korean people listen to now we all know about k-pop and trot right but there is also the traditional korean music a topic we'll talk about in our last video Today though, we'll see how the Korean music scene is so much more than just K-pop. K-pop is known nowadays as Korean pop, when in reality it actually means Korean popular music, a sort of umbrella term for all different genres of Korean music, including hip-hop, R&B, indie, rock, jazz, and so on. R&B and indie music is often used as OSTs in Korean dramas, so they often get lots of popularity. Some of the most well-known artists that fall in this category include Crush, Zion T, Dean, Suran, and Chuyong, who are the more well-known ones. On the other hand, there is K-Hip-Hop, which is rapidly gaining recognition, especially among fans in their early 20s. Some of the well-known rappers include Jay Park, Yoon Bire, Jesse, and so on. When thinking about South Korea, K-pop is often the first thing to come to mind. It makes sense considering K-pop is one of South Korea's many approaches to gaining soft power and attracting tourism. It has succeeded in becoming a global phenomenon and a $5 billion industry according to Vox. The genre features catchy choruses, smooth synthesizers, and sharp choreography. K-pop is also associated with mass production, which turns some away from the entire Korean music scene as it has become somewhat synonymous with K-pop. However, there are many Korean artists worth exploring that suit alternative tastes. South Korean indie band Hyogo has been rocking the Korean music scene since 2011. The group is made up of four members, vocalist, writer, and guitarist Woo Hyuk, bassist M. dong guitarist M. Hyunjae, and drummer Lee in -woo. Hyogo has been noted for gaining popularity across Asia, and their nonconformity defines them as K-pop's antipode. Their music style can be described as alternative rock, however, the band doesn't limit themselves to one genre and strives to explore different sounds. Giri Boy or Hong Xiong has been rapping and producing in the Korean hip-hop genre since 2011 and is signed to Korean hip-hop label Just Music. He has released 8 studio albums and over 20 singles. Some songs of his are upbeat with a wide variety of synthesizers backing his rap, such as in Why You Mad. Others are slow, calm, and use minimal instruments to create a melody like in Take Care of You. Though he is recognized as a hip-hop artist, Giddy Boy has said he doesn't feel like a hip-hop artist because it is just music. Singer Rat Museum creates mellow, harmonically playful R&B and soul. Retro beats and dreamy electronic sounds give tracks such as Woman a nostalgic summery feel. New on the scene, his first album was released back in 2017, but he's already toured to locations such as Toronto and London, supporting musicians such as the more established Off on Off. Dark Deep hip hop from masters of their craft, Groovy Room are Pak Kyojong and Lee Huimin, a music producer duo signed to Higher Music, founded by Korean American rapper Jay Park, who work closely with label mates including Shik Kye and Suran to create some of the best hip hop coming out of Seoul today. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and maybe a comment. You can also follow our Instagram and Facebook pages for more content. The links are always, always in the description down below. Please don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel as well. Till next time, bye bye!